day everyone! Welcome to Multiverse! I'm Estelle and I'm your Multiverse Pop. In Multiverse, we learn as one. So for today's video, we'll tackle about the perimeter of a triangle, rectangle, and other polygon. So, the width around the edge of a polygon is called the perimeter. The perimeter of a polygon is two-dimensional, but it is one-dimensional and represents linear units. Take a look at our illustration of rectangular background to help us make this distinction. The yard is two-dimensional with two dimensions, which is our length and width. The perimeter amount of fencing used to enclose the backyard is one-dimensional. The perimeter of this yard is the distance measured in metric units, such as feet or meters across the edge of the yard, as shown as the red arrow. Take the sum of the length of each side to find the perimeter of a polygon. The polygon below are the fraction of the size of the fence in the yard. As a result, use smaller units like centimeters and inches in our example. So, here's our example number one. We will calculate the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 5 cm, 9 cm, and 11 cm in length. So, for our solution, we'll have P, which is the perimeter, is equal to 5 cm plus 9 cm plus 11 cm, which is equal to 25 cm. So, notice that we just add the measurement of the edge of the triangle. Next is example number 2. A rectangle with 8 cm length and 3 cm width. Calculate the perimeter. So now, we have two solutions to be used here. Which is, for our solution number 1, we have P is equal to 8 cm plus 8 cm plus 3 cm plus C plus 3 cm, which is equal to 23 cm. And our solution number 2 is, P is equal to 2 times 8 cm, plus 2 times 3 cm is equal to 16 cm, plus 6 cm is equal to 23 cm. Notice that we get the same value for our answer. The second solution is most widely found in example number 2. In truth, the following formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle is widely used in mathematics. We have P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times V. Where P is the perimeter, L is the length, and W is the V. We'll find the perimeter of other polygons in the following process. Regular polygons include the rectangle and the equilateral triangle. Multiplying the number of sides by the length of one side is another way to find the perimeter of a regular polygon. Let's go over our example 3 and 4. So, example number 3. A regular hexagon has an 80 cm perimeter. What is the length on one side? So, P is equal to 80 cm and let S stand for one side length. Since a normal hexagon has six sides, we can calculate the length of one side by dividing the perimeter by six. So, S is equal to 80 cm divided by six. We'll have S or side is equal to three cm. So, one side of the hexagon is three cm. So, our number 4 example, calculate the perimeter of a square with 2 inches size. So, for our solution, this regular polygon has 4 faces, each of which is 2 inches long. Thus, we have P is equal to 4 times 2 inches is equal to 8 inches. So, our perimeter is 8 inches. To sum our lesson up, Take the sum of the lengths of each side to find the perimeter of a polygon, which 
is P is equal to 2 times length and twice the width. It's the method for calculating perimeter of a rectangle. Multiply the number of sides by length of one side to find the perimeter of a regular. So that's how you calculate the perimeter of a triangle, perimeter of a rectangle, and other polygons. I hope you like the content of this video and please comment down below your suggestions. Again, I'm Marcel and I'm your Multiverse Talk. In Multiverse, we learn as one. Thanks for watching!